Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about open and closed principle. It's a part of a solid principle. This principle says software entities like a class, modules, function, etc. should be open for extension and closed for modification. It means like that if you created one class and you have written some functionality but later you are not going to change for that particular class for any reasons. You can extend that one but you are not allowed to modify. So in the simple word it says that an implementation of a class or functions once created should be closed for further modification. In other words, one should not modify an implementation of a class or functions of logic and or functionality. Just take example of a electric switch board adapter. It's a, once a, you fix that once you are not going to modify anything. You can use as an extension. You can use the extension wire and you can plug and you can use it. Same like that sir, for class also. In the class if you are creating one methods so you are not allowed to change for any reason for that particular class. Let's see in the example open the Visual Studio new project console application console of OCP open and close principle just create one class for that is for total amount sale total amount we are going to create one method like if it will return decimal and calculate total amount here it will be two parameter first one is that uh, string that is a filter condition filter and decimal that will be subtotal so here we can write that one just create one decimal total amount make it as zero and from here return that total amount so here you can write that one condition if filter equal to winter season you will get 10% discount so how you will calculate total amount will be subtotal minus subtotal into 0.1 else if filter equal to New Year then it will be 20% discount if it's a summer summer then 30% discount otherwise it will return total amount equal to subtotal if you look that 
this class with uh, that calculate total amount methods it looks good because here from here you will pass that uh, filter like a uh, winter new year summer so that times it will calculate the total amount the sub total amount minus your discount amount so it will become total amount so it will return total amount so where is the problem so problem is that if uh, you if you want the filter will be or something christmas or like if some birthday is there so again you have to change for same class like you have to write that one as filter equal to like this see the example it's a birthday so in this condition it will be 50% discount so means you are you are changing that the sale total amount class but that open and close close principle is saying that you can extend but you are not allowed to modify but here for that birthday you are modifying that class so from so here you are breaking that open and close principle so how you will solve it you have to create one interface let me make the name like a public interface that will be sale total amount or you have to create one method that it will be return calculate total amount and here no need to pass that filter only you have to pass that sub total amount so now you can create one class like a public class winter sale total amount so you can inherit that one that i sale amount and try to implement so same method we are going to write here or you can return like that so for new year just copy this one and paste it for new year percentage will be 20% so you can write here for 20% same for summer Let's copy it and paste it here this for summer sale discount so it will be it's showing that 30% so but again you are trying to extend that one that birthday so no need to write or no need to modify this particular three class you are not going to change this three class so you are going to extend that class so you can just copy it and paste it and here you can write birthday and it will be 50% so no need to use this code this delete it and you can use it if it's a winter sale amount so that times you can call it that winter sale amount so you create that object obj winter sales amount equal to new winter sale amount you have to call my method dot calculate total amount just write it here like 100 or add into 
this will be the subtotal. Just try to print that one subtotal. Console dot read line. Just run it. Now you can see here the subtotal will be 90 because it's giving that one 10% return. So 110% your final total total sale amount will be 90. But if you want to check with that birthday sales total amount, it's a 50% discount. Only you need to change here. So let's see what will be the result. That's is 50. Now you can check here. We are extending that class. We are not going to modify in any class. We are not going to modify like a winter sales amount, new sales amount, or some etc. To use of a for the use of a birthday sales total amounts. You are extending that one. So what you have done till now, you have created one interface, and for every scenario, you are going to add that one that class like a winter, new year sales amount, summer sales amount and birthday sales amount. So here you are calculating that one, that discount. I hope it's a clear. Thanks for watching.